Okay, we're getting a lot closer now. Um, at this point, we're going to go ahead and remove the four screws that are on the inside of the clutch housing. Get the proper wrench out. And we'll remove these four screws. And the clutch housing might take a little bit of work, but uh, get those four screws out. But generally, with a little bit of help, it'll come right apart. And again, just like all the parts that we're taking off, go ahead and inspect it. Make sure that there's no cracks in the mounting areas or along the screws or anywhere in the case. So give it a good inspection. And again, replace it if necessary. Well, we're getting a lot closer now. We can go ahead and remove our piston stop if you would like to, or you can leave it in. I just like to remove it. It just gives me a little bit more room to work as we're going to remove the head bolts right now. Go ahead and get a Allen wrench that will fit down through the holes in the top here. And go ahead and insert it into one of the two head bolts, or four head bolts depending on what model that you have and it takes a lot of force to get these undone but they will they will come undone at this point go ahead and remove them and again there are two of them on the CY motors and on some of the Zen motors there are four so let's go ahead and remove these make sure that as you remove them that you don't allow your head to fall on your floor. As I'm holding it up here for the camera for you to see, there's a good possibility it might just fall off. But okay, we've gone ahead and loosened the two head bolts and generally you can just use a little rocking motion and go ahead and start to pull the head off. Um, it is possible that the gasket will, will stick onto the head and onto the case at the same time so go ahead and peel it off one way or the other and go ahead and very gently slide the head off just like so I'm going to set the case down and we're going to go ahead and remove the two screws from your head so they don't get lost again just like all the other parts this is a great time to examine each and every aspect of that part to see if it needs to be replaced or if it can be used again. Alright, at this point we're going to go ahead and split the case. And to split the case there are four bolts inside where we took the flywheel off. We're going to go ahead and break those four loose and take them apart. All right, we're going to go ahead and remove the last screw here. And at this point, your case might fall in half, but it's uh, they usually don't. But in the meantime, go ahead and hold on to both pieces just in case it does come apart. Now you can go ahead and grip both sides, and you should be able to wiggle them apart. Might help if uh, we take the gasket off. Sometimes that'll help glue them together side to side. So we're going to go ahead and remove the gasket. Should be able to wiggle this right apart, just like so. I'm going to go ahead and remove. Sometimes one half comes off first or the other. I'm going to go ahead and remove this portion. And we're going to go ahead and reach in and grab the crank. And go ahead and sometimes you have to push with your thumb on the rear side of the case to get it out. Sometimes you have to use a little bit of force. But we're going to go ahead and hopefully remove this. It doesn't look like this one wants to come out. Let's go ahead and grab our screwdriver here and just give it a little bit of tap on the shaft.
There we go. Now it's come apart. Now we have the second half of the case along with our crankshaft, rod, piston, and ring. From here we're going to go ahead and remove the seals and the bearings from the two case halves. A lot of different ways to do it, um, just as many ways to remove these as there are people removing them. We're going to try the brute force method today on removing seals. And basically we're just going to take a screwdriver and we're going to put it in between the seal and the bearing and see if we can't get a little bit of leverage on here and go ahead and just peel them out just like that. Um, just a word of caution, um, once a seal is removed you are going to want to replace it rather than reuse it. So that's uh, one of the simple ways to get it out. Another way is, is to come from behind it with a screwdriver or something and go ahead and push it through. Um, again, just be careful that you don't stick your screwdriver too far inside and gouge the side of the, the case with your screwdriver. So you do need to be somewhat careful with it. We're going to go ahead and repeat the process on the second side. Feel where the screwdriver pushes in between the bearing and the seal. You can see a little bit of close up there on how that works. You're going to need a little bit of leverage. And again, sometimes this works, sometimes it doesn't. Give a little bit of a jolt and it pops right out, just like so. Now we're going to go ahead and remove the bearings. We're not going to be reusing these bearings, so we're going to again use brute force to get them out. If you take a look at this particular larger portion of the case, we're going to push the bearing out of the front from the back. And um, what we're going to do at this point is to find a solid object. You can use a socket or anything that's actually going to fit down inside of the hole here without uh, being too big or too small. Again, you're going to want to set that against the bearing and we're going to use in this case a hammer and give it a few gentle taps and I can feel that it is coming out. Give it one more good one and the bearing has just come out just like so. Alright, at this point we're going to go ahead and remove the bearings from the second or the smaller side of the case. And then you can take a look inside and you're going to see that there's a C-clip inside that retains the bearing from pushing out this way. So we're going to push it out from the top or from the front out through the back. Um, a little bit different on this half of the case, you do have guide pins that are stuck in here. And you can see them if I hold, the, uh, hold it up sideways here, and there's two guide pins. So what we're going to do is we're going to find an object to set this on. If we simply just turn it over and put it on the table um, and use brute force to remove them, what we're going to do is to damage these three pins. So what I'm going to do is just use a pair of old pliers that I have and I'm going to go ahead and set the case on here so that none of the pins are making contact and it keeps it elevated off of the table just like so. And we're going to put an object in to pound on that does not make contact with the clip and we do have to be very careful that we are not not contacting the clip and, and breaking the clip. So we're going to go ahead and turn this over give it a few pounds and I can feel it coming out and voila we now have the bearing out of the second half of the case we're getting a lot closer to having the uh, engine fully disassembled